the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Xiaomi has kind of had a confusing nomenclature in the last few months. The Redmi 5 Plus from China launched as the Redmi Note 5 in India. So what did they do with the Redmi Note 5 Pro? Well, they launched it as the Redmi Note 5 in China with a few changes. Now in today's video, let's unbox this Redmi Note 5, the Chinese variant and take a quick look at these changes. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and before we begin, here's a card to our latest giveaway. I'll also be leaving a link in the description below and while you're down there, do hit that thumbs up button, subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's now get started. So here's the box the Redmi Note 5, the Chinese variant comes in, it's your typical red Redmi box. Uh, we've got the specs to the back. Let's now peel the plastic off and open it. Taking a look inside, Xiaomi's included a soft case here, nice. And now we've got the Redmi Note 5 itself. Finally, we've got the blue variant, peeling the plastic off the front uh, and the back. Now guys, as a YouTuber, I never get to pick colors. I usually get stuck with that gold color and sometimes black but that's pretty much it i don't remember using a different colored xiaomi phone in like a long 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 time i think we did uh, we did get the red mi a1 right special edition i don't think we got it we didn't get it okay so yeah we haven't got in a uh, any color barring the gold and black in a while so finally happy to see the blue it looks great uh, the case fits nice and snug. Moving on, we've got some booklets, all in Chinese, of course. Digging further in, we've got the micro USB cable, the SIM ejector tool, and the travel adapter. Let's now boot this phone up. Now, this is the part where we generally go over placements of the phone, but this phone has the same placements as the Redmi Note 5 Pro in India. In fact, it's identical to it. The dimensions, uh, the display, both have 5.99 inch uh, full HD plus resolution displays with, 18, with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Both have the vertical dual camera setup. You get it, right? They are almost identical. Now, so I'm just gonna be leaving a card here to a Redmi Note 5 Pro review. So if you want more information, check that out. Let's now jump straight into the internals. And again, we've got the similarities. Snapdragon 636 runs the show here too. There are 332, 464, and 664 RAM storage variants available. It's worth noting that the, uh, the Indian variant does not have a 332 option. The battery capacity remains unchanged. Now, while it doesn't have support for Quick Charge 3.0, a report on MIUI forums say that the current intake is more here than on the Indian variant. This should result in faster charge times. Now let's look at the other changes. While both of these phones run on MIUI 9.5, the Chinese Redmi Note 5 is based on Android 8.1 Oreo. While the Indian variant is supposed to be getting it soon, but as of now, it's stuck on Android 7.1 Nougat. That though, is not a major difference since MIUI is so far removed from stock Android. So the end user is gonna see very little different uh, regardless of what uh, variant of Android it's built on. Of course, the Chinese variant does not come with Google Play services. The one place, the one area where there is a significant change is with regards to the cameras. We have, again, a 12 plus 5 megapixel dual setup to the back. Uh, the primary camera on the Chinese variant that uses a Samsung sensor, the S5K2 L7 to be precise. The Indian variant uses Sony's IMX486. Uh, so what are the differences? Well, if you look closer, the Samsung sensor over here, it's got larger 1.4 micron sized pixels compared to 1.25 on the Indian variant. So given the larger you know, pixel size, it means that the sensor is bigger. The aperture is also wider, f1.9 on the Chinese variant, f2.2 on the Indian variant. So both of these taken into account, the one on the Chinese variant on the Redmi Note 5 that you're seeing here, it should be able to capture better detail, let a lot more light in. Uh, it should theoretically be the superior camera. The pictures that you're seeing here are samples that we quickly shot around the office. How do you think they fared? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Now coming to the front camera, once again, Xiaomi's gone with a Samsung sensor here. This one's a 13 megapixel selfie shooter, a bump down in resolution compared to the 20 megapixel snapper on the Indian Redmi Note 5. Uh, but this one again has larger 1.12 micron size pixels. So 
that is a small advantage. On the software side of things, Xiaomi claims that they now have an AI powered portrait mode working on both the front and rear cameras. Do you guys think we should, you know, jump straight in and do a camera comparison between the Indian Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Chinese Redmi Note 5 that you're seeing in this video? Is that a video you'd be interested in? Let us know in the comments below. You guys want it? we'll make it happen. So now let's talk price. All of you are quite familiar with the Indian pricing of the Redmi Note 5 Pro, right? Uh, 14,000 for the 464, 17,000 for the 664. The Chinese price is, the th there is a 332 variant that's at 1099 yuan, around 11,500 Indian rupees. 464 at 1399 or 14,700 in the 664 at 1699 yuan, that's nearly 18,000 Indian rupees. So this basically means the Redmi Note 5 in China costs quite a bit more than its Indian counterpart. Maybe it's the Indian manufacturing plants working their magic, or maybe it's the extra cost of the upgraded camera. What do you guys think? Me personally, I would have loved to see that 332 variant of the Redmi Note 5 Pro uh, if it had launched in India for 11,000, 11,500 rupees. It would have been a great deal. I really don't feel that the Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus that's masquerading as the Redmi Note 5 in India is a great uh, option given that it's again 625 to 625. Doesn't make a lot of sense there. The Redmi Note 5 Pro, uh, at least the Chinese Redmi Note 5, the 332 variant would have been great. It would have been better competition to the Zenfone Max Pro. So if it had launched in India, would you have picked it up over the Redmi Note 5 or the Indian Redmi Note 5 or the Zenfone Max Pro? What do you think? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So I guess that's it for this video. So now it's time I bid you adieu. If you hated this video, you know what to do. But if you did like it, then give us a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Click on that bell icon to become part of our notification squad. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.